Hi there, this is Penny Manus Diefendorf with your Daily Grain. Here is something else to consider when you are evaluating the things in your life. And it is actually an economic term, but it works well in all situations. And it is the point of diminishing returns. So I will demonstrate that by a story that I heard when I was in school. And it is about a king or hermit, I forget which, and they are wandering around on this dusty road, trekking back to home, I guess, and they are really, really thirsty. And they come across this orchard and it is really serene, lots of lovely green trees and quite an oasis for a weary traveler to rest. And so they stop there and the owner of the orchard comes out and asks if they would like a drink of water or some refreshment, which they, yes, of course, want to have. So the owner brings out a glass of juice or water and gives it to them to drink. And their first sip of that refreshment is just exquisite and they gulp down the entire contents of the glass with great enjoyment. It really satisfies them and the owner says do they want another one and so they do. So in the time that the owner went to get the glass and come back, to refill the glass and come back, the king or the hermit falls to thinking, you know, how come this wonderful place belongs to only one person and other such <laughs> uncharitable thoughts. So when the owner brings back the second glass of juice, shall we say, and the traveler starts drinking it, it's somehow not as satisfying. So when we were small and in school, the moral of the story was <laughs> not to think uncharitable thoughts when someone is doing you a favor, which is a worthy moral, <laughs> well worth noting. However, growing up, I've come to realize that that is in fact the point of diminishing returns where you are satisfied enough and after that point things are not as satisfying because your need has been fulfilled your need has been met the problem is in our lives we tend to not want change for one so we just keep on keeping on if we have things in our life of long standing we just grow accustomed to them and we consider that they are permanent fixtures whether or not they actually do bring us satisfaction whether or not they continue to fill that need in our lives. Hopefully the things in your life have evolved as you evolve and so they continue to avoid <laughs> this point of diminishing returns. But it is always useful to look at the things that are around you. Do you take them for granted and overlook the impact that they have on your life? If this impact is increasingly a negative one, then you want to look at it and consider as it reached and passed 
that point of diminishing returns? And if so, what do you want to do about it?